Hi, it's December 26, uh, 2019, and uh, this is my uh, this day's uh, vlog. Uh, so I had something interesting happen to me today, and that was that uh, I had one of my friends uh, message me on Facebook and uh, tell me that I was a uh, inspiration for him and his uh, mental illness. And uh, that he was uh, inspired by my daily posts and uh, asked for uh, suggestions uh, on how he can uh, himself uh, better his situation, better his uh, mental health, to get, you know, to get through the rough days. And... Uh, I'm always surprised when uh, friends of mine call me uh, an inspiration for them. I, I mean, I'm not doing this stuff to be an inspiration. I'm just doing what I what I want to do. Uh, you know, I I, I want to be what I would like to see in the world. Um, but. Uh, brings to a point that one of the things that, uh, with my, uh, vlogs that I wanted to, uh, that I want to point out and, uh, highlight is that, uh, I am, uh, I, I do have depression and, uh, I do struggle with it every day and, uh, I'm, uh, researching, uh, charities that, uh, bike rides for uh, once I start uh, racing and uh, uh, to, to bring more light to uh, mental illness and uh, try to uh, break the uh, stigmatism against m mental illness. It's, uh, you know, it, it's not, it's not easy. Uh, a lot of, uh, health plans, if you, uh, work for a corporate company and you can get, uh, health insurance, uh, you know, not a lot of the, uh, the health plans, uh, do that great of a job with, uh, mental health. Now, they, they might say, oh, well, you know, you can call this number and, and we've got, you know, a, someone that you can talk to and yeah, so we're all super, uh, mental health awareness. Well, I mean, the phone calls are, are useful, but you can also just call a friend and to a certain extent, I mean, granted, they're not going to have the expertise of, oh, well, you're doing this and, uh, why don't you think of it this way, but it's, it's a lot cheaper, and uh, it's somebody that you already know, so you feel more comfortable when you're doing it. Um, and, it, I don't know, it took me a long time even to get uh, help. Uh, I have been living with depression uh, pretty much my entire life, and... I didn't get help until I was 30, uh, five, I think, that's what it was, 35, so, and I'm 40, I'll be 48, uh, in two weeks, so I'm at it was a long time, um, a lot of bad decisions and self-medication, and uh, I, it had uh, created uh, OCD in myself because uh, I was grasping so hard to uh, have some sort of control of my life, 
became OCD and I had a lot of, you know, I mean, my, my apartment was like always super clean. Everything had to be in a certain spot so that I could just get it. I knew where it was. I didn't have to think because it was, you know, so difficult just to simply exist and to get myself to, to go out and do things that, uh, you know, my, my house was, was clean. I, I gave myself like one small area, like a closet that, you know, closet, I don't care how messy it is. You know, if I, if I can clean up the room and just shove everything in the closet, that's fine. The room is clean. I know the closet is a huge mess, but it's behind a door. I don't have to see it. It keeps my, you know, living in a messy environment, you know, even if you don't have a mental illness, it's, it's not... It's not good on your on your mental health, you know. Living in a uh, relatively clean environment just makes you feel better. Um, but it's it's uh, I totally forgot where I was going with this. <laughs> uh, so I'm. Uh, Hoping to, uh, with my vlogs, and uh, once I start getting uh, more, uh, when I, once I start uh, doing the uh, cycling videos, to, to somehow uh, uh, do things to help uh, mental health charities and, uh, and suicide prevention. Um, suicide prevention and, and mental health that's um, majority of the time tan in hand. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's all I have.